you are sleeping on the Castoff LSW. This thing is easily one of the best long range primaries in the game. I think it's because it launched with a really broken tax stance build that subsequently got nerfed. Very few people have given it a chance as a long range primary. And I'm telling you, this thing is no joke. It is actually one of the best in the game and just may be the meta for you. I've got a data analysis to break down evidence why. Then I'm going to show it off in a very high kill Rebirth Island solo versus quad gameplay. And at the end, I've got the build for you guys. Let's get into it. So I'm on truegamedata.com, my favorite Warzone stats website. And I've got a combination shots location TTK chart comparing the absolute meta D tier, arguably second best primary STG, and the Castov LSW in the blue line. As you can see, Castov LSW compares very favorably to both guns. It is after that first damage fall off for the D tier, it very neck and neck with that and pretty much dominates the STG. Um, I would argue most of those engagement ranges where the D tier has kind of a broken close up TTK, you're gonna be using your SMG anyway. Um, and another great thing about the cast of LSW is it has almost double the fire rate of the D tier. So if you're one of the many players that uh, struggles a little bit with the D tier or doesn't like it, miss one shot with this thing and you're probably going to lose the gunfight. The cast off will come in the clutch because that ample fire rate will give you more forgiveness if you do happen to miss a shot or two here or there. These CTKs mean nothing if it doesn't have good recoil. I will show you guys in the gameplay. This thing is an absolute beam. So fun to use. Others have compared it to the Cooper Carbine from Vanguard Warzone. I think that's a decent comparison. Maybe it's even more in line with the MG82 from Cold War. Either way, this thing is monstrous. Definitely one of my favorite primaries in the game. So fun to discover and share hidden gems with you guys that maybe you haven't tried out. Keep the game fresh and fun for you all. Real quick, before we get into the gameplay, if you're new around here, consider subbing. Would love to have you in the GigaFam. Likes, comments, shares. Of course, all that stuff is appreciated. You guys are amazing for engaging with my content, helping me live out my dream. I do live stream over on Twitch uh, daily. Would love to see some of you guys in there. Make sure you say hi. We'll give you a warm welcome. One of the best communities in all of gaming such a good vibe and without further ado i will catch you guys in the gameplay don't forget to stick around to the end for the build peace holy hell like both How do you almost fuck that up? Ugh. I really hope that guy's on mouse and keyboard. Otherwise, he is playing on way too high of a sense for him to control. That was fucking diabolical, bro. My boy's in a fight for his fucking life with the aim assist. I'm going back there. Did I only get- I got one of those kills, not two, right?
I actually really like this gun. It's kind of insane. Maybe slept on a little bit. Let's keep grinding with it and see what's up. Did you say I'm cheating? Okay. You suck, bro. Your dog shit. Yo, secret meta? Question mark? Super choppy. Pretty sure he came up the roof. Okay. Kids are fucking crybabies, aren't they? Advanced up. <laughs> Try to drop a 30. No way they keep landing Lodi. This is fucking amazing. I farmed so many kills off those kids. Always get the trailer. You can chew through some fucking ammo with this thing, I'll tell you that. Oh no, I finally wiped them. Dang it, right before the... Oh well. Got a lot of kills off them. I think this thing is fucking fantastic, to be honest.
Ja. What the fuck did I just observe? He was assassinating, I think. Only ten left. I think it's a slow TDK at range. That team could be a fucking problem. Fucking dweebs wearing the same skin and shit. Only four remain. Finish the job. One v four of these fucking nerds. God damn it, bro. boys sure let that other guy buy all right superstars for the build the first four attachments kind of a no-brainer quartermaster uh, elevator d20 long barrel it gets access to one of those awesome uh, new barrels that also help with the crucial firing aim stability stat. So just awesome, awesome, awesome attachment. The Jack Glassless also comes built in with firing aim stability. Highly recommend it. The Speznaz S15 stock is kind of nutty. Cuts vertical recoil by 25%. I don't know that I've ever seen that on a stock. Really, really, really powerful attachment, especially on a gun like this that has a decent vertical kick, but not much side to side bounce key attachment right there for the fifth attachment um what i went with was high velo just to give it that hit scan feel let me laser people off head glitches super far away beam people out of the sky um kind of give me that extra pop uh where i have a really long hit scan range however um this is sort of um an wild card attachment you could run high grain i probably wouldn't recommend it though because uh we do not want to hurt that recoil um, you could also explore running an underbarrel, but this is the build that I went with and I found a lot of success with it. Much love, GigaFam. I am grinding YouTube content. I post every single day without fail. So if you don't want to miss hidden gems like this, make sure you turn those noties on. Much love.